Hey, babe. Hey, babe. What happened to you now? I'm trying to reach you since. Good morning, Ma. Your phone is being turned off. Listen, babe. I woke up very late. Can you believe that I woke up by 7 a.m.? And I had a meeting for 7.30. I almost missed it. Ah. What happened to our alarm? I don't know about that alarm, John. It messed me up. Oh, sorry, my love. Sorry. So what's up with you now? Are you at home? I actually just stepped into the office now. Mm. Madam Slayer. You are slain already as usual. Mm-hmm. You don't know. <laughs> so, can I see? Uh, no, 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 no. We're going to see for lunch, so you saw some right. Uh -huh. Because we're meeting for lunch. That one is still far now. Come on, send me a picture, John. Oh. Okay. I'll send you a picture. Alright, I'm expecting it. Back into my office. Anyways, I didn't imagine I'm just asking. Oh, I'll be back later. Mm. <laughs> Alright, see you there. Big head, I'm coming. Ah, no, 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 no. Mom, see, no, no. I was just about calling you. I'm not feeling bad. Hello, Mom. That now, I even called Mrs. Bassi. Huh? Okay, you know what? Um, I, I'll try and come by the weekend. I know, Mom. Don't worry. Hmm? Just make sure you take care of yourself for me. And um, I'm at work right now. I'll call you later. I love you, Mom. Bye. Be strong. God knows best. See what has happened. I only wish that I, I was here earlier than this. But you know, I've really been very busy. Well, I want you to know that any way Uncle is right now, he's in a better place. The only thing that will give him joy where he is right now is for you to take good care of the kids. Look at you, Tony. You've done so well for yourself. You know, he never stopped talking about you. Yeah. Sad, you know, we were close, guys. I've not seen him for a very long time. Like, I saw him last, last time I visited. As well. So tell me, how are the kids? That's good, I... That's not good. Is he still not here for? Hmm? I'm here for? Are you serious? Oh, go, 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 go! You're all grown up. You know, Mom, the last time I saw her, yeah, she was 15 years. She's a grown lady now. I have to tell you. You're not big old. Hmm? So tell me, what, what, what are you studying in school? Chemical engineering. Chemical engineering? Are you serious? So we have one female chemical engineer in this family? Yes. That's good, that's good. I'm happy for you. Hmm? She should have only been in Lagos you know, by now for her internship. But, uh -huh. um, 
you know, because of uh, the burial arrangements, you know, that's... Uh, I, it's all right. Hmm? I understand. I mean, what has happened has happened. Just put yourself together. I know you will escape through and pull through. Hmm? Ah, no, 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 don't cry. Come, come, come. No, this is don't be like that. Hmm? Sorry. Yeah, um, let me tell you. Did you know that I also studied engineering in Unilab? Yes. But mine was petroleum though. <laughs> Dad always talked about you. Really? Uh -huh. <laughs> He's doing so well for himself. He's not good. He made the first class. <laughs> you are lucky to have him in the same field. Hey, hey, mom, don't, 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 please, don't even start. Don't even start. Must you talk about this first class, first class thing everywhere you go? Fine, it's fine. Eh? Can't you get away, get away from it? I can. <laughs> Just stop talking of how you made us proud. <laughs> ah, but did you say she's going to Lagos? Yes, sir. But what about Port Harcourt? There are so many places she can uh, do her internship here. I mean, closer to home, to family. Sir, I was actually going to tell you about this. And the iPhone has been on my neck that she has to go to Lagos for her IT. <laughs> Please allow her to go to Lagos. She needs to be exposed and visit so many other places in Lagos. Yeah, it's good. It's, it, I mean, it's good. She will gather lots of experience there. Stay with me? For what now? That is, listen, I can't believe that you made such a ridiculous suggestion. For what? That you know me. You know how I live my life. You know I love my space. I love to be alone. I do not have a sister. I don't even know how they stay in the house with a girl. And she's just a young girl. You should want to explore. Down, and... sit down. to a sit. Sit down. You know, this girl has just lost her father. What are we contributing towards rehabilitating her? That we have contributed enough. That we are very active in that barrier. I left everything I was doing in Lagos and I attended the barrier. What more do you expect me to do? What about the children he left behind? So you can be very safe at other times, you know? Demon, please, please do not even go there. Because I am angry with you right now. Why do you make such a decision in my very presence without consulting me first? For what? I am not a baby. You should allow me to, to make my own decisions. I have the right to make my own decisions. You just want to remain in your comfort zone. That's why you're not married. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been expecting that. But not for your information, I have a girlfriend. Girlfriend, we have never seen. Toya, that young girl will stay with you for at least six months. If we had known about this earlier on, we would have also informed you earlier on. Now, take good care of her and make sure nothing happens to her, right? She's like a sister to you, you know? She's a daughter I've never had. She's so humble and respectful. Mama, I've heard you. I will adjust. Hey, that's my son. Thank you. God will bless you. Better now. Okay. <laughs> so, what's up? <laughs> ah! Are you serious? Oh, my baby's coming to Lagos tomorrow. I can't wait to see you. Okay, so what time is the flight so I can come pick you up? Babe, that wasn't our plan. <laughs> okay, whatever. Maybe that's what you want. So you're coming to stay with your cousin. Is it married? You know, sometimes uh, all these cousins that are married, they don't allow you to move an inch. Okay, so far it's not going to stop our groove. Because I can't wait to see you, babe. Hurry up. Hope you factor things. Alright. Bye, babe. Wow. Mommy, I don't want to do my editing for her court. I 
I mean, don't you want me to experience anywhere else? Annie, it's just a few months. Ha! You, you can't be going all the way now. At least we can talk about you moving out of Patakot when you're done with school. Not now. I can even call your Uncle Jumbo to get you a job there. Mommy, I was born in Port Harcourt. Yeah. I did my primary school, my secondary school, university, everything in Port Harcourt. I haven't even visited anywhere else except Oyo. Hmm. Mommy, don't worry. If you're bothered about how I'll get a placement, don't worry. I have that sorted out, please. Mm. Yes. How do you mean? If a man's dad mm -hmm. said he knows the directors in Camelbex, Lagos, mm -hmm. and he said he's ready to get the both of us placements. How are you even so sure that this will work? And even if it does, when would you stay? Uh, Have you thought about it? I'll live with the former now. Uh, Her dad lives alone in a very big mansion. You didn't know. Annie, this is your Lagos, eh? See, I don't have a problem with if if you. I don't. Because she's your best friend. But the person I have a problem with is her dad. Her dad has a reckless lifestyle. Always carrying women all over the place. And do you know he was even doing that while he was married to her mother? Mm -hmm. Every single time I see her mom, that's all she complains about. My husband did this. My husband is with this woman. And that's where you want to go and stay. Abby? Tell me, that's where you want to stay. Mm, you worry too much, I think. Oh, I worry too much. Yes. Okay. Get dressed. Me, I worry too much. No problem. Bros, not worry yourself, that one not reach too. But the problem is that Ope and Sist bring enough Owo soup and stash. Tiko and Banga soup. And Oboroko, see no problem with this. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, go and get you know, You know the way it be, you know the story of Bros. Wow. <laughs> Your house is really big and beautiful up there. Thank you. I can't believe you live in this big house alone. Well, yes, I live here alone. But you see, this is my father's house, not mine. Yeah, we started living here while we were kids. Oh, I forgot, you were not born by that time. <laughs> and yes, uh, so, does it mean you can live in a big house all alone? Hmm? I'll be scared though. I can't live in a big house alone. Wait, how are you so sure I wasn't born then? Of course I know you were not born by then. Don't you know your father usually visits us? If you were born, I would have known. <laughs> yes. All right, all right, I know. You know, my dad always said I was their miracle because they had me 10 years after marriage. Yeah, I know. And we're all happy when you came. Oh, <laughs> no, I feel so special. <laughs> Only my dad made me feel that way. Yeah, I understand. Well, come, let me take you to the room. I hope you will like it. Mm. Yes. And please, can you just remove the Uncool, uncool. Just call me Tony. <laughs> Alright, Tony. <laughs> so I'll just go with this and help you with this. Thank you. Yeah. This magic you're saying, Silas did everything. Are you serious? I'm telling you. That funny guy. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, wow. um, I want you to sit down. Mm -hmm. Just freshen up. I will have Silas prepare dinner for you. Oh, mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. I'll see you later. Silas! Yes, 
kommen. Bright money to you. Cha! So your beauty, they make me want to share more, sis. I go share more, I go share more. Sell us, sell us. An earphone, please. Yeah. An earphone, or just call me Anne. Anne, Anne. You want my bike, my tongue? I've been as if you be. As if you be. Uh, sorry, sir, I don't disturb your sleep. You know, say if you enjoy the sleep, you know, go me the week. You understand? Sell us, what do you want? And I brought to you now. It's my phone. Check you whether you don't wake so that make you quick arrange yourself fast as this morning because now you want to go now. You understand? I mean, me see my con wake you. Um, but um, for kitchen, I don't position them. Eh? What? Really <laughs> shock like saying that poison. I call them now. Food now. I don't arrange work. Food now. I've been on one job this morning. Oh my Show. god. Ah, wow. Send us a heard you. Thank you. As you start to be you. Thank you. As you start to be you. Oh, did you create some sister auntie? And the phone? Russell? Yeah. Since that vision, she's the arrange level. She put full home theater for you, and I mean she's not the real you. But I don't let her know so you can call her shop. Yes, sir. She's welcome. Thank you. Oh, she comes. Baby, meet my cousin, sister. And the phone. Hi. She came here for um, internship. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, at last, I finally get to meet a family member. <laughs> How are you? Um, I'm very well, thank you. Um, I'm here for meet the love of my life. Mm. <laughs> my sweetheart. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, so what, um, what were you doing? Okay, just um, take something for yourself to eat, alright? I'll be going out with um, my sweetheart and we'll be coming very late. <laughs> hmm? Alright, Annie. Um, you know what? Um, next week, I'll take you out. Show you around so that we'll do a girl stalking bond. At least I have a friend in the that's family. It, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> that's cool. That'll be really nice. Okay, and. And your phone. And your phone. Come on, that's not hard to pronounce. Um, just, just call me. All right. Annie, take yes. care of yourself, right? All right, babe. I'll just go and change something better. Okay. We'll go. All right. All right. Yeah. Um. I'll be back. Annie. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sorry. All right. Sure. Girl. Focus on your internship. But you said you would like me. That is not how I put it. I told you to focus on your internship. Come on. There are many good men. 
men out there. And if you carry yourself properly, you will meet one of them. Why, why, why would you dwell on, on someone who has not gone... made any advances towards you? So what if he has a woman? Is that the reason you are there? My friend, if you, if you don't have anything better to say, just call me when, when you have something better to say. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm so sad, that's all, because I really like him. Listen, I'm here for you don't force these things. They happen naturally. Eh? All you have to do is pray to God to give you your own man. Remember, what is yours will always come to you. Eh? All you need to do is focus on your intention. And then, when it's right, the right man will come. Pray for your own man. Just focus on yourself, get better while you are there. And definitely the right person will come to you. Do you understand me? Okay, mommy. I'm, I'm really sorry. Thank you. I love you. So this is me talking to my friend. It's not a problem. I think we are even too much. Thank you so much. There so you go. Cool. So what are you going to pick up before the close of work? Um, I'll probably get um Toyin's key and put them in his trunk. Oh, okay, better then. <laughs> Alright, okay, I'll you. see you later. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. Bye. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> Stop, Joe. I got some for you. And who's that? My cousin's girlfriend. Her name is Debbie. <laughs> She's not looking bad. Uh, I didn't know Tony had a girlfriend. I I was beginning to. Beginning to what? Move away, Joe. Okay. Babe, babe, babe. But you know Tony is not my type. I'm not into all the guys. I'm not you. Please. to give the city presentation for this month in my department. My slides don't look good because I don't know how to arrange it properly and I'm so nervous because everyone is going to be there to watch. So because everyone will be there watching so that's all. Listen, Miss Anifa. When you have situation like this, make sure you make good use of it. This is a very great opportunity. And opportunities like this will not come all the time. First thing, work on your confidence. Kill fear. Be bold. Listen, there's this level of confidence you will have. 
when you are talking to the audience, you can actually confuse them. You can be saying rubbish and they will not even know. Hey, <laughs> this is why you are laughing. I am not asking you to go and tell them rubbish. That's not what I'm saying. I am just trying to help you so you know how to go about it. So can I see your slides? This is it. But it's not good though. I didn't ask you if it's good or not. Don't worry yourself. Let me see. Oh, it's actually not too good. You see? I told you. <laughs> but I think um, this will be better. You know why? I think you are giving out too much information. Yes. You know the problem about giving out too much information? You cannot defend it. So you have to be very brief, be precise, go straight to the point. Just tell them what they want to hear and that's it. Hmm? So I will give you um, I'll give you some other information I used last time. I think I did something like this last year or two years ago. I'll give you so to guide you. Hmm? So we just work on these animations and make it very brief as possible as we can. This animation is good and pretty, just like you. So I'm pretty? Of course you are pretty. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm telling you now. Alright, I'll just go upstairs and get them for you. Thank you. And um, keep smiling. <laughs> In conclusion, safety is not an option. It shouldn't be a choice to make, rather it should be a lifestyle. Your family deserves the assurance that when you leave for work in the morning, you will arrive safe to them, alive and well. Stay prepared. Thank you. I tell you to leave it for Silas to handle. Anyway, that's not why I'm here. Listen, I am here so we can celebrate. Your performance was awesome. You. you know what? I feel like giving you a very big hug right now. I am so happy. You really made me proud. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. you know, it really helped me. Oh, stop it. You did above my expectations. I was, I was, I was looking at you like I was shocked. You know, and I said to myself, I said, why don't you celebrate this? And I, here I am, I decided to come and take you and... That reminds me, where is she? About that. She got called for a date. You know, she had to rush home and get dressed and all. A date? Interesting. Anyway, let's just go and celebrate. I need to go inside, change up something very good. Let's go. Okay, I'm ready. Alright, All right, no waste time, okay? Oh, hi, Oma. Hi. Um, 
eight ounces. <laughs> Is she upset we went out with her man? Mm, I doubt that. You know she took me out the last time. And near phone. You can be so naive. <sighs> Before ma, there's fried rice and the love rice in the kitchen. Do you care for any? I'm not hungry. I want something to drink. Something to drink my food. So are you getting it or not? Hmm? Are you getting it or you're not? I need something to drink. Entertain me, babe. Okay, I'll come. Baby, what's up? Alpha. What's up with you? Okay, um, I will be hanging out with um, Maya and some other friends tonight. You want to come over? Yeah, sure. Are you game? Yeah, sure. I thought you had work to do. My dear, I'm still at the office, so I'm not done yet. But I'll just try and see what I can do so that I'll meet up with them. Exactly. So, 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 no, no, wait, 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 wait. Exactly why I won't ask her out. Why would I? She's too naive. I mean, age wise, she's probably too small for me. Come on, you guys know now, eh? Why? Why I'm going to follow the dark small girl? Eh? <laughs> but that one, working with her. Uh, really? Her eyes don't tell. Really? Are you serious? 
Why you doing no love? Uh, ah, I miss the way you can don't carry go shans bad the other day. Oh, what well, this guy? You been winch? <laughs> eh? How you take no? I don't know. Oh, but they fear you, eh? <clears throat> it's wait, wait. You tell us you don't mind. Ah, Shao, oh. why would I do that? We just went out. <laughs> yeah, besides, I have not to told you guys I want to do anything. <laughs> eh? You will we do. Ah, come on. I better leave this thing back, Charlie. Forget this thing. Let me just use this opportunity uh, now to make my own clear. Yeah. Uh, wait, you see my cousin. Mm -hmm. No go area. If I hear, <laughs> she is young. Uh, okay. She is naive. Uh -huh. She is everything. Uh -huh. But baby, uh, nobody go there. Give your advice, Jerry. You young too much. Okay. Why you play as soon as she won't marry? Uh, see, uh, guy, those focus on your madam. Focus on your madam. <laughs> Focus on your madam, Jari. Wait. Oh, Mulari, madam. I did tell you. The boss on She can be so bossy. I did tell you. I'm that crazy be. over her jobs. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> I wonder how you cope with her. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when, 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 the first day you guys met. You remember when oh, we met? Okay. Because you want me to go to the office. You want to shut your mouth now. Yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> As a sister, as a woman. As a sister, as a woman, as my everything. What uh, about Debbie? It's Debbie. Forget about Debbie. Uh, listen, I've just been trying to cope with her. Don't you know Debbie is bossy? Uh, but you love her. I don't you love her. She just left. Listen, I'm just trying to fix up with her. It is you that I love. Mm -hmm. Have you told her this? We better time to tell her very soon, okay? But for now, just... Get 
my room. I have to get on my bed. What's happened? What's he what talking about? What? What's going on here? I'm asking you a question. How did you get on my bed? Tony, you made love to me last night and I loved it. What? You wanted me. You asked me to stay. You said you wanted me. You said you loved me. You Listen, said don't shut up! I was drunk for crying out loud. Did you know I was drunk? Are you crazy? But, but you said, you said you, you, you. Listen, just shut up and forget everything I said. Listen, if you do not want me to struggle you right now with my own hands, Problem. Why are you crying? Infoma. Infoma, I don't think I can survive this. I don't know what I've done. Oh God, what have I, I done? I don't understand. What happened? <laughs> what is the problem? Infoma, we had sex. Babe, I don't understand. You, you, you had sex or were you raped? If my, I was a raped, oh God, I feel like the worst person in the world. If my, we had sex and now, no, he, he, he doesn't want to see me, now he hates me. 
I'm still lost here, babe. Who are you talking about? What are you talking about, too? It's, it's Toye. To, Toye, he, he asked me to leave his room. Wait, you, you're joking. I'm, I'm sorry I'm laughing, but I thought Toye was your cousin. That's what everybody knows. That's, that's, that's what he tells everyone. He tells everyone I'm his younger sister. He tells everyone I become his cousin. He tells everyone. Okay, so who is he to you then? He's my, he's my family friend. We're, we're very close. We're very close family friends. And the last time I saw him, I was in SS2. And then he came again at my father's funeral and I, and I fell for him. I just fell so deep and I don't know why. And, and then when his parents suggested I, that I stay with him in Lagos, I was, I was extremely excited. I was very happy. And, 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 and I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't tell you this earlier because... because because he, he, I found out that he had someone and I thought you'd see me as dumb, just as you do now. You should have at least told me. We're best friends. Okay, it's okay. Don't worry. We'll pull through this together, okay? I'm so sorry. Do, do you want to tell your mom? No, no, no. She'll be ashamed of me. She's disappointed already, please. <sighs> I don't want to tell my mom. <laughs> okay. Maybe tell Toya you want to come and stay with me. I can't. I can't go back there. I can't. I can't face him before my. You dad. will go back there. You must go back there. Okay. They swear for me when I will gloss. I'm not nowhere to mess. I will go your room, go mess. Bros, not be mew, bros, not be mew. Not be mess of your room. Oh. That's why I sit there and die soon. Not be mess of your room. Listen, just shut up. I am not in the mood for all this your nonsense right now. I said go upstairs and clean that mess. That's what I said. Um, it's okay, it's alright. Um, where is Anya for? I, I don't know, bros. The only thing when I see is that. She just they take up more for come back through gate as if she be Osemboto. I try to stop her man reason with her. The next thing she start to recry, eh, eh, like say they put baby by her pit. And even they try to you know what they happen, she push me and then he my head for what's there for, bros. Now if you tell her, no, she just take off like that too. Oh, it's okay, you're right, just shut up. Shut up! You know what, just get out. Bro, I don't know what they happen for this house, so. I swear they sweet. You girls has not called me since I left his house. It's been two days. Two days. No calls. Not even a text. <laughs> Have you tried calling him? Call me. His cousin insulted me and he thinks it's very okay. And you, you, you expect me to call him? My love, calm down. These men are like babies. You have to caress them sometimes. If he hasn't called you, you call him. Tunya, I know, always calls. So call him. You never know. He might be passing through hard times. Hard times? I was with him that night. I didn't tell him to get drunk. To even get drunk and get a hangover. You, you, you girls are not even understanding how annoying this whole thing is. It's very sad that he didn't call me to check up on me. Not to talk of him not calling me to even apologize for what his cousin did to me. I think that I was very nice to that girl. Just have to take it easy. I'm sure it's a minor misunderstanding. Well, that's his business. It's none of my business. 
Next week is our company's promotional examination. And that is my priority for now. Okay, madam. Which do you want, madam? Relationship or career? Beast in human form. Come back here. You will talk to me with another young man. You will stay out of my business. Is this what I got to, to tell you? You have not called since you walked out of this house a week ago. And you're calling now to see what? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Look, I know I overreacted. I'm going to come to the house soon, okay? Such yourself. It's been all about you, so I'm not. Hello? believe he hanged up on me. Can you imagine? I think there's something wrong. Have you told him about the recent development? That's exactly what I was going to tell him before you hanged up on me. How am I supposed to even say it? You know what? I have decided I'm not going to say anything about it. I'll just let it go. Ha! Like seriously? Babe, this is very important for your relationship. Is that 
We are like family. <laughs> and on the other hand, I have Debbie. So it's... Uh, what is going on here? Um, actually, nothing, baby. You're here. Uh, I heard. You heard? What is she talking about? It's good you heard how your man had lost you so much. How he took... Oh, please leave me alone. He took my friend's virginity. And after what? Hate her. I'm sure you know how that feels. If I must stop, let's go, please. Let's go. You slept with your cousin. Toy. It, it, it's not like that. You see, I... Well, I, I mean, as... I, Sweetheart, she's not my cousin. She's my godfather's daughter. <laughs> what I can, I, I can explain. It's, it's not my fault. My parents, they forced her on me and... I was just trying... Please, forgive me. I... I had to lie to you because that's the only way you can... Allow her to stay here. I'm, I'm sorry. I've done that. I had to stand up for my friend. I can't stand up for myself. I, I saw how much of that you did back there. Even man, there's nothing to fight for in this anymore. Tony is the best man and I had no right making myself available to him. He says he can't be with me and you clearly had him so you had no right to cause trouble. You had no right. Letting her know all of that. Babe, I had to do what I had to do. It's my ears you cry on. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I know it's hard to accept, but you just have to let go. Okay. You won't believe what Chuka did to me. Can you believe Chuka is married? He lied to me. Okay. We'll go, we'll, we'll go through all this together. Okay. We stop crying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baby. Baby, please. I am truly sorry. Listen, I regret everything. I agree. It was all my fault. I beg you in the name of God, find a place in your heart and forgive me. I know it's all my fault, but please, maybe at least say something. I don't know what to say. I, I don't have anything to say. What are you doing? Please don't say no. I can't. I'm sorry to me. Listen, listen, please. I, I, I beg you. We had a foundation already. We didn't just get here. I am truly sorry, please. Forgive me. Baby. Please now. Accept this. Baby, it's me. It's me. It's me. Please. Please. Just stand up, man. Stand up. 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 Stand up.
Beautiful wedding oh, ring. Yeah. I know, right? And we have our next wedding to plan. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Sweetheart, I think you made the best decision by accepting him that. <laughs> Come on, you should fight for your man and not allow that little girl rape where she never sold. That's true. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you, my love. So, so, have you told him? No, I did not. I have the ring, and you know what that means. Yeah, we do. Mm. <laughs> Don't worry. Let me go get it. Oh. What is she doing here? Can you imagine? You must really have some nerves to show yourself around here. If I slap you. You will disappear from here this minute. Nonsense, girl. Okay, oh, okay. You know what? Um, I'll handle this. Just give us a few minutes. Please. Okay, please. Bye. It's so crazy. Sorry, Auntie Debbie. <laughs> Auntie Debbie. Hmm. I'm sorry for all the pain I've caused you. Everything is my fault. I know I shouldn't have stayed at that house. I, I know I shouldn't have gotten close in any way, but please forgive me. I'll be done with my IT soon and. I'll leave Lagos. You'll never see me again. I'll never get in the way of your relationship. I honestly didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. He told me to sleep over that night. But I refused. I didn't want to sleep over. I know how he acts when he's drunk. I'm sorry, please. It's not, you know what, just... It's fine. It's not the only thing, it's not your fault. It's fine, it's fine.
You're not feeling it for me. What is it now? What is it? Hey, come, 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 come and sit down. Come and tell me. What is it? Huh? Did somebody beat you or something? What is it? Why are you crying like I'm this? I'm sorry. You're sorry for what? What are you sorry for? Now, Calm babe. down. Uh, Look, babe, Professor Jimmy's gonna lock us out this time. Oh, we're there for the class. You're already on point. Your makeup is fine. Please. I'll wait for you. Wait for me now. Uh, uh. I was shocked he showed up. Just like in the movie. You know? I was shocked too when I saw him this afternoon. I can't even stand him. He probably came to see his parents. No. I heard Chief Madame Debbie left him for South Africa. You know I have people giving me info from that office. It was it sounds confusing. I also heard he was the one that ditched her. Uh -huh. Are you serious? So he now wants to come back to the silly little girl that was obsessed with him, Abby? No. He wants to come back to his one and only true love. Okay. And... Ifoma, what kind of love is that? Rubbish. Wicked love. I beg you, I better not come close to me. Okay, me, I'm still watching this Cinderella love story. Ifoma, please shut up. I was thinking about my project topic before you spoke up. Eh? Let me read. Please leave. Please, please. I know you have every right to be angry with me. Even, even if you want to hate me now, no problem. But please, just hear me out. Toye, please, stop following me around. Stop showing up everywhere I go. Uh -uh. Look, I have moved on. I have forgiven you and I have moved on from all that you put me through. And guess what? I'm stronger than I ever thought I was. Thanks to you. So please, just listen. don't make the best decisions. We all make mistakes. And sometimes, it's too late to correct those mistakes. But everyone deserves a chance to make it right. I want the best for you. I really do. Okay? You remember I once told you that whatever is yours will come back to you. Do you remember? Don't throw it away because you're upset. Don't. Huh? Give him a chance. He's here to make things right. Come here. It's okay, eh? It's okay. You're one lucky girl, you know? Yes, I know. Because I have the best friend in the world. Thank You're welcome. You. The best mom in the world mm -hmm. now. The best man in the world. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Koma. 
Thank you. You were very silly. Mommy, yeah, that's for keeping everything away from me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Next time, <laughs> you don't keep things away from me. I mean, this kind of oh gist. I can't wait to be the maid of honor. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm not to go. Oh, Lord. <laughs> 